board member. I've been a board member, I think, for probably close to 10 years. I'm not really sure exactly how long. Um, I love comedy, and so I started by just coming to the comedy improv, and uh, this group is just so wonderful that people are all so, that they touch me and their stories, the, the plays that they do always touch me. They make me cry, they make me laugh, and I just so enjoy it. So most of this art is, was done um, after my son overdosed at the age of 23. Um, the biggest piece though, however, was done just after 9-11 when uh, spring finally came and I kind of felt like we were finally able to breathe again. And this, the colors of spring always remind me of just reviving and coming back alive. And so I, that the gardens, I started the, a whole series of very large paintings of gardens. What I do for a living is uh, I do workshops for people in all different on all different subjects, but particularly I, I because I've been through it, I can do one on bereavement, and I've done uh, workshops with that. I had Lyme disease for five years, and I was really really sick. And when I was doing, when I was actually creating, I didn't have time to think about being sick. It was the only time I felt better, and I was like, this is this is what it is. This is what I want to do. And so I call my programs art as therapy. I don't call it art therapy because that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing using art to take you away for a couple hours. And I think everybody can do art if you just give them the tools that fit for their personality. They, they have to find it not, may not be drawing and it may not be right, you know, painting, but it might be sculpture of some kind. There's just so many pieces of art. So I like to give people a lot of experiences. One of the things about grief is it's really hard to to speak because a lot of times it just becomes so emotional you can't get the words out. So I use uh, collage, sometimes magazine collage. Either you can use the magazines just for color and create something or you can use the magazine images and you can let them speak for you, let the words that come out of the magazine speak for you and you don't have to explain it to anybody else. Only you have to understand what that, what, what the meaning of all those things are but it's, it's like putting memories into a into a piece of art that you have for yourself to just exp just get those feelings out off your body. Well, everybody has grief. Everybody has parents, friends, family that have died. And, and when you lock that all inside of you, it, it really eats away at you. Sometimes it's just really hard. And, and there is a way to get, to get some of those feelings out. And the way to do that is to um, some artists uh, who are singers sing it out. Some, you know, artists paint it out. There's research that says once you put your trauma out on paper, it just helps you uh, heal.